humanoids, welcome to Halfling Hobbies. I'm Halfling Hannah, and D&D has been around for quite a while now, but for a lot of that time, it didn't exactly have a great reputation. If it wasn't being preached against as something from the devil, it was considered something strictly for nerds. However, recently there has been a huge resurgence of D&D and it's become really mainstream, which is really exciting because it means that it's opened it up to players who before would have never considered playing. This also means that brand new players are coming to D&D in droves and whether you are a new DM or a veteran DM, it can be hard to understand exactly how to introduce those players to D&D in a way that doesn't overwhelm them and gets them excited about the game. I have DM'd for new players almost exclusively, with the exception of one veteran who always plays in my campaigns. Levy John! But most of my players are brand new players. They come to me and say, hey, you like D&D, right? Can we play a game sometime? And then it becomes completely up to me to introduce the player to the game in a way that they uh, immediately engage with and love. Because I honestly love this game. And so I don't want to give my friends an experience that turns them off from the game entirely. I want them to walk away from the table excited to play again. And that can be quite a challenge uh, when you have brand new players because D&D is a massive game. There's so much to it. So today we are going to talk from my experience about how to introduce brand new players to Dungeons & Dragons without overwhelming them or scaring them away. Here we go. This video topic was actually suggested by one of my subscribers, and I am always happy to do suggested videos. If you have any topics that you would love to see me cover, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll try and do as many of them as I can. I think this is a great topic and I am really excited. So let's get into how to introduce brand new players to D&D. Here are some of my top do's and don'ts. Let's start off with start small. No matter what you're trying to do, what campaign you're doing, or even if you want to run a pre-written adventure, I suggest starting with a small, short session zero. This will be some kind of easy, simple side quest that your players go on. This allows them to kind of dip their toes in the water without going through an extensive uh, five hour session that can be super overwhelming to new players. I suggest about two hours maximum. This small side quest gives your players a clear goal for them to accomplish, lets them taste some of the different elements of D&D such as role playing, investigation, just a little bit of combat without being completely overwhelming. I find this is very, very important to new players and for you as the DM. Here's how starting small really helps. First of all, it helps you as a DM because you do not want to plan this entire epic session that you're super excited about for your friends for them just to say, you know what? I don't really think I like D&D and we're, we're not going to do that again. That's heartbreaking. Starting with a small session zero can allow you to go in whatever direction that you choose. Um, it introduces the players to the world and then you can start a full campaign in that world uh, using the same characters and using that session zero as kind of their backstory. This also really helps your players because as I said before, it's not overwhelming. They have a clear task in mind and it feels more like a traditional game. Uh, like a board game where you have an end objective that you're trying to reach. And it helps brand new players kind of begin to understand this idea of cooperative role playing. They have a task at hand, they have multiple ways that they can finish that task, but there's still a clear goal and an end to that session. You do not, you do not want to drop your players into your world and say, what do you want to do? because they won't have any idea what they want to do. So the very first session needs to be very clear cut, railroaded even, give them clear directions on where they need to go and what they need to do. I promise you this 
will help so much with brand new players. And once they have done that task and they feel that accomplishment of figuring something out, uh, defeating a small little monster or something, they will be hooked on D&D. This is how I've started every campaign for brand new players. And I have not had a player yet say, you know what, I don't think d and for me. And in the end, that's what we're going for, right? <sighs> Number two, when you're introducing players into D&D, I always do pre-generated character sheets. And I know this is a place of contention. Trust me, I love making a character as much as the next person. It's fun. It's really fun for those of us who know what we're doing. And you may think, well, I don't want to rob my players of that fun. It's not fun for new players, okay? Trust me. You may like math. They're not gonna like math, okay? They're in it for a game. They wanna play a game and they wanna have fun. They don't understand the finer details yet and the finer points of making a character yet, and that is okay. Don't try and force them to love character creation. It will come naturally later on. For now, use pre-generated character sheets. These come in the starter pack and those characters are great. Right now I'm actually running a campaign where they use those characters and they've been great. Uh, you can also go to D&D Beyond and do some um, pre-generated character sheets where you can control the class and the race and things like that and then it just populates it for you. Do that. Save your players the trouble of that. Don't focus on character creation at the start focus on telling a story that they're gonna enjoy. Then after session zero, if they say, hey, that was super fun. Can, I've heard about, you know, making my own character. Can you walk me through making a character? That's the time to teach them how to make a character when they're already excited about the game, not when they're just trying to get into the game at the beginning. Third bit of advice, don't dump. Okay, this is so easy for DMs to do. And it can be with anything. Don't dump your lore of your campaign. Don't rule dump, combat dump. Don't dump on your brand new players. Only explain what is immediately important. And you may think, well, how am I supposed to introduce them to the game as a whole if I don't tell them all the aspects of the game? Here's the thing about people. We only comprehend and retain that which is immediately important to us. So you can spend 30 minutes dumping on your players all of this stuff, and when it gets to the moment when they actually need it, they're not gonna remember it. Trust me, I'm a teacher, I know how this works, okay? So what you need to do is you just need to explain as you go. When a rule comes up, explain that rule. Your players are much more likely to remember it for the next time. When you want them to roll for the first time, then explain how rolling works. When you are in combat for the first time, then explain the different actions that they can take. I promise you this will work so much better than trying to dump everything at once and then getting frustrated that they don't remember it. It's a lot, okay? For new players, it's a lot. There's a lot of rules, there's a lot of things going on and they have no clue. So give them some grace and don't dump on them. They will appreciate it so much if you just let the story roll and explain as you go. Next up, encourage role play, but don't demand it at first. So one of the aspects of Dungeons and Dragons that is um, concerning for some new players or um, frightening even is this idea of having to role play. Most people are not comfortable acting, especially not in front of other people. They could be comfortable telling you what their character would do, but they're not quite to the point of actually acting it out or speaking as their character yet. Don't demand that they do this at the very beginning. Be okay with them simply telling you what their character does and then maybe encourage at certain moments, such as if there's a conversation and the player says, I'd like to have a conversation with this NPC and try and find out this. You can say something like, okay, how do you imagine that conversation going? You talk to me as if I am the NPC. And then you can role play that a little bit and uh, get them more and more comfortable with the idea of acting as their character. 
This is intimidating to some players at first. So make sure that you are encouraging them, showing them how to do that kind of role play, but not demanding it from them or making fun of them for not doing it. It's just not easy for some people. To go along with that, the next piece of advice I have is to engage all players. Some of your players are going to be super comfortable with role play and excited that they are playing something where they can do whatever they want and they're going to be a little bit spasmatic about that. <laughs> they're going to they're going to kind of be like squirrels on crack for the first time just running around wanting to do everything. And then you're going to have those other players who are a little more passive, a little more pensive, and they're not entirely sure what they should do. And so if if you are not careful when you have a whole bunch of new players, those spasmatic squirrels kind of take over and the whole session becomes them saying all these crazy things that they want to do and the passive player doesn't really get to engage and that's not that much fun for them. So you as the DM need to pay attention to this flow. You need to make sure that you're engaging all players and for new players especially, you're going to have to directly ask them what is your character doing there during this time? Because it's likely that new players aren't going to feel really comfortable just straight up saying, hey, my character's doing this while this is going on. You're gonna have to pause your spasmatic squirrels and you're gonna have to engage that passive player and say, okay, they're doing this right now, what would you like to do? And kind of turn that spotlight to your more passive players. Use this technique to make sure everyone is starting to understand their character, understand that they can do different things than other people at a certain amount of time. So make sure that you are engaging all of your players because new players tend to be a little more passive, especially if you have a new player coming into a campaign with veteran players, that is really intimidating for them. So just pause everyone and ask them directly, what would you like to do? And also give them some time to think. They're not used to this kind of thing yet. Give them some time to think about what they would do or say something like, hey, I'm gonna come to you in just a couple of minutes. Can you be thinking about what you would like your player to be doing during this time? That lets them know, hey, I need to be thinking about this stuff and not get completely deer in the headlights spotted when uh, you turn the spotlight to them. And then finally, for brand new players, at the beginning, you wanna make sure that you are giving clear paths. So D&D is wonderful because it is an open world where your players can literally do whatever they wanna do. However, for brand new players, they don't understand that concept fully yet. They're always going to be looking for what they're supposed to do and what the story is supposed to be. They don't quite understand that they are the story and they are creating the story. So at the beginning, give them a few clear paths that they can go down. Give them some clear options that they can pursue and then back off of that as you go. But at the beginning, if you don't give at least some options for quests or plots or side quests, your players are going to be terrified and have no idea what it is that they're supposed to do. If you have DM'd for brand new players and you have some advice that I haven't mentioned here, by all means, please put it in the comments down below so that we can all learn how to be better DMs for our brand new players. I hope that you agree with me when I say that I am stoked to have new players. I absolutely love it when a friend of mine comes to me and says, hey, I wanna try this experience for the first time with you. That is high praise. That means that they trust you and they want to create a story with you. And that is an amazing feeling for a DM. So don't be intimidated or scared when you have new players. Be excited to introduce them to this amazing world. Until next time, my friends, may your game have advantage. Kathleen Hanna here, signing out. I have D&D'd, I have D&D'd. <laughs>